Hello, and I'm back with my top 10 favorite Pokemon. In the number 10 spot, we have Scolipede. When I did my, when I first did my original playthrough of Pokemon Black and White, I caught a Venipede in the Pinwheel Forest, and I was about to release it when it was just just before it evolved. I was about to release it, but I figured I'd battle with it in a few more battles. And it leveled up and evolved. And it's the only reason, well, it's the only Pokemon that kept me from losing the Pokemon League in Pokemon Black and White. It overall was a very good Pokemon. <clears throat> number in number nine, we have Greninja. When I um, did my first playthrough of Pokemon X, I chose Greninja as my starter and I honestly was just choosing blindly and when I finally got to evolve into a Greninja I was so happy Ugh. it was so awesome when I got my Greninja Ugh. and throughout the entire Pokemon League Greninja was one of the only Pokemon I used. In the number 8 spot, I have Blastoise. Blastoise was actually the Kanto starter I chose in Pokemon X on my first playthrough. Mega Blastoise was the, in my opinion, it was better than Mega Charizard. I actually regret restarting my save file. Mega Blastoise is better than Charizard. Everyone should know that. Number seven, we have Typhlosion. I don't know if it's a pyromaniac in me talking or not, but Typhlosion just looks really awesome. With the fire coming out of his neck, it's a really cool Pokemon. Also, I like Cyndaquil and Quilava. Number in number six we have Meganium. The reason I put Meganium in this slot is because I was playing Pokemon White 2 when I was nine and I did a GTS trade and I traded for a Meganium level 59 and I won almost every battle after I put it on my team with the right move set. Meganium can win just about any battle. In number five, we have Vaporeon. Now, Vaporeon is actually one of my favorite evolutions. Vaporeon, well, that's what I used after I got Eevee in Pokemon White 2 after I beat the game. And I evolved into a Vaporeon at level 39. I had a very good move set. Um, not really much more I can say. Number four, we have Alakazam. Now, if it wasn't for the Pokemon World Tournament in Pokemon White version 2, Alakazam would not be on this list, but it is. Because, um, Sabrina's Alakazam was really powerful, and it proved that legendaries weren't the best just because they're legendary Pokemon. I kind of wish I would have known that back then. Number three, Agron. Being one of my favorite steel types of all time, Agron has not the best stats of all steel type Pokemon, but I like Agron because of its attack. It's, um, its attack stat and special attack stat. And that's what makes Agron a really good competitive Pokemon. Number two, Sceptile. On my Omega Ruby playthrough, I actually chose Trico as my starter. And Mega Sceptile was probably the best Mega that I've used so far. And... 
Not very, not much else I can say for that one either. And yeah, number one, Flygon. In almost every Pokemon playthrough I've done, I have had a Flygon on my team. What? Now, the only exception to that is Black and White, because you can't catch Trap Pinch in those games, but Black and White too, you can, before you reach Victory Road. And, same in X and Y, and I think Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire as well. I don't think you can catch one in Sun and Moon Hill, which kind of sucks. But anyways, I used Flygon in those playthroughs, and it was so fun using a Flygon. I can just remember the hours of level grinding I spent to level up my Vibrava to get that Flygon. That's actually it for this top 10 list. That This has been my top 10 favorite Pokemon list. Um, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.